I think that you kind of disgusting. You disgust me. You have children, Tom? Nope. Thank God, brother. By design. Thank God there's only one of you on the face of the By street. design. I'm going to be 89 soon, but I want to tell you something. So you've been a bitch for a long time. Oh, yeah. You need to be on every radio station in the country because it's the only thing that's going to help these young men out. So I start calling her. She's not picking up. She's not of asking my text. Nothing. No, why? Because she had her mouth full. <laughs> no, I don't know. Maybe. Wow. On Flash Friday, when all them girls are out there flashing their boobs at guys, yeah. just because Tom Buttkiss says so. Tom Buttkiss. Yeah, that's your name. Because you're really? butt. the biggest butt in the world, Tom. I promise. Really? Yeah. My brother, Dick Buttkiss. <laughs> Got invited to the old Halloween party. She wanted me to be Raggedy Andy. So uh, I kind of sat back there and uh, said to myself, WWTD, what would Tom do? <laughs> and I dumped that bitch. Is your bust in the Slot Hall of Fame? That's what I'm curious about. Is my what? Your bust. Do they have like a bust? No. No? No. It's not that bad. Really? <laughs> You know that Slot Hall of Fame, you know the deal? that They'll let anyone in? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. If you're willing and, you know, they will let able. Th you go down to the Slot Hall of Fame. Admission is free. All you guys that are thinking about getting married young, and I got married in my late 20s, so all you guys are thinking about getting married young, for now on, instead of the word relationship, substitute the word addiction. And instead of girlfriend or girl, use the word crack. So you're not in a relationship with a girl. You're addicted to crack. American women know what a business marriage really is. It's a business. Yeah, but if you want money, go out there and earn it yourself. You know, well, they are earning it. They're earning it on their backs. How many relationships have broken up because some guy was listening to your show? I, I can't even imagine how many, and I, I hope the number is a large one. Where did you get your license to be a professor out of a jack-in-the-crack box? A jack-in-the-crack box? Yeah. Is that what you call it? Jack-in-the-crack? Yeah. Is that is that a fast food joint? Yeah, Jack in the Crack. That's where I got mine. Yeah, I know. Yeah. When you buy her a meal, you are giving her free stuff. Yeah, but in return, you know, I'm getting stuff back. Why so not just pay good. a professional? Why not just hire a hooker? Oh, no way, man. I mean, get I, somebody I, really hot who then you don't have to talk to. I don't want my thing falling off, you know? <laughs> Tom is giving business advice, and when you get married, it's a merging of two corporations. Now, if you merge with a nonprofit organization, what are you doing? You're paying her half. You're paying for everything. Tim, you sound I like would, a pussy. How old I are you? I would pay her 100% because she means that much to me. Tim, you're a pussy. How old are you? I'm 22. Yeah, Tim, you don't know S, all right? You're 22. You got a girlfriend, Tim? I'm a, I have a fiance. I'm getting married. You're a pussy. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Uh -oh. I broke the cardinal rule. Five and a half years, the same girl. Oh, Jesus. Two weeks ago, I dumped that bitch. This is not what you told Dean you were going to talk about, so admit you lied to get on the air. No, I just changed. No, no, you lied. Changed. Lied. Changed. If you don't admit you lied, I'm hanging up. How much did you pay that girl? There we go. Lied. From Hollywood, it's Flash Friday. What are you wearing? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Here it is, Flash Friday on the Tom Likas Show. Headlights on across North America. Ladies, if you see somebody with the headlights on, show them your knockers, baby. That's what you got to do. Wide open telephones here. Anything goes toll free at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 
Hey, Tom, how's it going? Doing uh, great. Time, long time. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to call you and tell you, bro, that uh, finally, you know, I stopped being an idiot and I took everything that you've been preaching to heart, man. I broke up with this stupid girl yesterday who's just been mind-blowing me just to the last few months, man. I don't even know what the hell I was thinking. She cheated on me and I still took her back, bro. I yep. broke the cardinal rule. Hey, no, no, the cardinal rule you broke is you're 21 and you have a girlfriend. They, yeah, you know what? You're totally right about that. Matter of fact, there's this girl who's been hitting me up. She was telling me the exact same thing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you uh, you broke the cardinal rule. Then, uh, then you broke the next cardinal rule, which was <laughs> you took her back after you pressed the rewind button. Yep, you're right about that. But you know, what? I just wanted to call and tell you, Tom, that you know what? You are the master. Uh, everything that you got to say is gold, brother. Because just ever since I've been playing this game with this girl, I don't know, just my life's been taking a bad turn. And so you know, why are you still with her now? I'm not. That's what I was calling to tell you. I broke up with her ass. Thank God. I'm done with her. I'm never going to see her again. I'm through with that. How did she react when you ass. told her? What's that? How did she react when you told her? Oh, man, that's a whole nother story. I'm going to tell you about that right now. Okay. Um, she's got this thing on her nose that she likes to pick at. All right. And it's just a bad, nervous habit. That's so wonderful. She, Turns me on. Whenever she gets a chance. She'll try to use that to her advantage and somehow place it that I'm the one that did that to her. And you're going you're gonna to chew me out for this one, but you know what? I'm going to let you because I totally deserve it, bro. The first time she done it, I went to jail. Good work, Ace. Yeah, good work on my part. And I, I still went back to her. But, yeah, I just wanted to let you know, dude, that I'm done with it. I got this other girl on my lap. She's like 32 right now. We're going jet skiing tomorrow, matter of fact. But you're not. She's not your girlfriend, is she? No, 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 no. Matter of fact, I already told her straight off the bat. I'm not trying to get into another relationship. Matter of fact, I told her to tell her friends what's up, too. And uh, does she have children? No, sir. Does she want to? Uh, not from what I can tell. She hasn't brought the subject up yet. But, I mean, if she does, you better believe it ain't going to be with me. I'm too young for that, Tom. That's right. Yeah, dude. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I got my, uh, I'm sorry, I'm working um, with a truck I, that's been given to me. I don't got to use no gas. That's like an awesome thing for me because you know how gas is today. Yes, you know, I do. 150, 200 miles a day, that's going to kill me. I, I completely understand, but, uh, you know, you shouldn't have a girlfriend and you shouldn't be taking her back either. No, sir. As a matter of fact, she's texting me right now. Believe it or not. She's texting you. Was she listening to the show? Um, she's a listener. I don't know if she's uh, if she's texting me about the show or about what, what's what been going on, but she's texting me right now. Wow. Well, you want me to read it to you? Yeah, go ahead. All right, hold on. Let me check it right quick. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, here's a good one. Um She's telling me that uh, she spent the night at another guy's house last night. Good. Yeah. I mean, I don't even really care. Okay. Now care. it's his problem. What's that? Why do you care? He can sit there and watch her pick her nose. No, I'm sure they weren't doing that, Tom. Yep. I mean, she spent the night. She's not that type of girl. And I guess that's probably what attracted me to her. I was just too easy. Ugh. Yeah. You said it. I know. John, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. Andy is calling from Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's going on? Doing a radio show here. Cool. Hey, um, I was just wondering, well, I have a uh, a girlfriend and we have a baby on the way. Why? And, because uh, you live in Portland and that's what every 23-year-old girl does. She's not from Portland. No. She's in L.A. Portland? Right, yes. So she's acting like the other girls in Portland. Extremely hot. I mean, she's, she's hot. Tom, you would hit it. I mean, guaranteed. She's like, you know, L.A. 10. Yeah, but I uh, wouldn't hit it without a condom, you moron. Well, <laughs> well yeah, I don't know. Well, she, Why are you having a baby? Why did you let that happen? Well, that was my screw-up. Why? Know, that, that why? I'm asking why you allowed that to happen. It's, uh... 
You know, it just happened. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. You let it it? happen. You made it happen. Right. It didn't just happen. Well, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right about that. I mean, if I shot you in the head and the police (laughs) said to me, what happened to this guy? And I say, hey, things happen. Would that be an adequate defense? Absolutely not. No. The person shot in the head because I put the gun to his head and put the bullet in his brain. Right. right. So yeah, don't tell me things happen. That's that's not an answer. Right. Why, yeah, did, why did you do that? It was a stupid thing. You know, why did you do a stupid not, thing I'm like that? that? Why did you do it? I, I don't have a reasonable you know, uh, response for I mean, you know, Look, here are some of the possible responses. Uh, I don't like using condoms because they don't feel good. Or yeah, another yeah. one would be, I got drunk and I forgot. Or another yeah, one could be, one. Uh, here's another one. I'm a loser and I never think I'm going to amount to anything in life. So I said, what the hell? Who cares what happens? No, that's not. Those are the three likely example. answers. I own my own house and all that. I mean, really, I was just All the more reason you shouldn't have let that happen. Right, and that actually kind of brings me to the question um, that I wanted to ask you. You know, I have a house, and with the baby on the way within like a week or two, something like that, um, I was wondering basically for tax reasons and, and uh, insurance, health insurance reasons and all that, I was considering we're engaged, but, I mean, really, I told her I don't want to get married. And she's... Uh, well, well, that. Yeah, but that's... But then if you told her that, why are you engaged? It's just kind of, uh, you know, because it felt more... It felt you more told right her me. you don't want to be married. Why are you engaged? See, uh, to take the pressure on me, off of me a little bit. You told her you don't want to get married. Right, like technically, you know what I mean? Like going to the courthouse and getting technically married. De- there's only <laughs> married or not married. There's no technically married. You are married or you're not. Right. And you think that it would not be wise to actually go through with it? No, because if it doesn't I work out... you get away with it. If it doesn't know? work out, you will have to pay vagina money in addition to child support. Right. And on top of that, you know, I have the house and... Um, right? That's, yeah, that's, yeah. So, I mean, I'd really save my ass doing that. The best you know, way to protect your assets is not to get married. Right. Okay, so yeah, you totally think it'd be wise just to chill, you know, where we're at right now. Um, I wouldn't live with her either, and you're living with her too, aren't you? I'm, I'm sorry? Why are you living with her? Because oh, that's my girl. I mean, we're, you know, we're having the baby and all that. It's the only well, that doesn't, well, that's two different, two separate issues. Having a baby and somebody being your girlfriend are two different issues. Right, but I mean, I'd rather her be my girlfriend, you know, with the baby than not. You don't have to live with her. Well, yeah. Many but, people have girlfriends who don't live with them. Yeah, but they don't have kids, Tom. So what? Well, so what? I mean, yeah, I don't want my kids growing up in two different households. I mean, it's not like we're on we're on the outs or anything like that. I mean, not are, yet. You're only definitely... twenty. You're only twenty three years old. Right. And you know, the younger you are, when you hook up like that, the more likely it is you'll break up. Well, yeah, but I will say that we're an exception to the rule. Oh, yeah, that's That's what everybody says. I know that's what everybody says. That's what everybody says. Everybody, 100% of everybody. We're an exception. Oh, yes, yes. You're an exception because you're in love, and she's in love with you. Tom, our our love is strong. Your love is strong. It's strong. It's a love unlike any other love. Like any other. Oh, nobody can understand the love between the two of you. You, th- Nobody gets it. Other people, they have relationships, but they don't take each other seriously. They don't understand each other the way the two of you understand each other. It's a love unlike any other love. It's a love that transcends the generations. It's a love unlike anything the world has ever known. It's a love like the, the movie Titanic. It's a movie like any love story in a film. It's that kind of love, isn't it? Uh, when I look into her eyes, it's like I see nothing else. Uh-huh. When I look into her eyes, I see nothing else. Everything goes away. Yes. Because you're 23. And no, it's I'm just joking. I mean, that's not the way it is. I mean, I'm, really, I'm a realist. It's, 
you know, I'm just taking it for what it is. You're marrying her because you knocked her up. Like that movie, I, I, Knocked Up. I was considering marrying her. You're engaged. Let's call her right now and tell her the engagement is meaningless because you're not going to marry her. Why don't we do that right now? Oh, come on. I don't want to stir it up. So you've lied to her and yeah, proposed to her. To her just I'm not did you propose to her? Did station. you propose to her? Yes, I did. You did. But you were lying. You really have no intention of marrying her, right? Um, as far as legally... Legally is yeah. the only way to get married. There is no what? illegal way to get married unless you're gay. Are you gay? No. Well, the only way to get married is legally. Right. If you don't do it legally, it isn't marriage. Hmm. So you proposed marriage. But what about through the eyes of God? I, uh, that's your problem, okay? You proposed marriage, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Right. That means you are either lying to her or me. Who are you lying to? Um, well, I'm not lying. I mean, I'm not. Uh, okay, you're kind of twisting it around. On no, I'm not. Okay. You propose marriage. Are you getting married? Okay. Did I did I get down on one knee and say, "Will you marry me?" Yeah. Okay, I said it. Yes. And does she call you her fiance? Well, actually, we say, you know, there's my wife, there's my husband. Type there we go. But you proposed marriage to her. But it, but aren't I kind of getting away with... Um, Did you tell her that I'm just going through this ritual, but I have no intention of signing any paperwork? I said I was, I told her I was, you know, doubtful of it. I told her that actually, you know, legally going through it... Then what know, is the I, point of proposing? What did you um, propose? Because, you know, it looks bad. You know, I had a lot of pressure. What did you propose? Uh, that we'll stay together forever. No, you didn't. You proposed marriage. You just told me earlier in this conversation you proposed marriage. Are you lying to me or her? Well, I guess... Well, I guess to her. You're yeah. lying to her, the woman you love. You're lying sense. to her. Not in a it's sense. A you are the biggest equivocator I've talked to in a long time. In a sense, legally, technically, you're, you're, you're Bill Clinton on steroids, for Christ's sake. <laughs> well, thank you. But Jesus. Well, Tom, I mean, uh, hmm. I don't know. See, now, now you got on... You I mean, if if you've been honest with her, let's call her up right now and just clarify in case she doesn't understand that you're not going down to City Hall, you're not going to see a judge, a justice of the peace, you're not going to see a minister, a priest, a rabbi, you're not going to be going to see uh, any man of the cloth of any kind, you're not going to be seeing a judge, a lawyer, ship captain, or anybody. Well, that's going to be there. That no papers will be signed under any circumstances. That this is just conceptually speaking, in your mind, you think of yourself as married, but you're never going to actually sign the papers. Let's call her and tell her right, right now. Exactly. Let's you call see? her and tell her that right now, so she understands. Yeah, but the, let's tell her yeah, right now. And of course, of course, with the aftermath of that, talk. because you see, you lied to her. I try to think of it more like, you know... Just you lied to... to I don't care how you prefer... You prefer to think. You prefer to think that. Yes, I prefer to think Santa Claus is coming to town. Okay, I prefer to think that. But that's impossible. No, it's that's just... Impossible. It's just that's not... And, and, and you getting married is impossible also. It's not necessarily impossible... It's, no, well, it's you decide. Possible. You will decide whether you're getting married. You will married. decide whether or not you're getting married. You will decide. No one else will right. decide that for you. Yeah, Santa Claus. So are you going to do it or not? Well, that's kind of what I wanted your advice for. Oh, Jesus. Hold you on know? a second. Chelsea, what did you want to say to Andy? Um, You're an idiot if you think that having a girlfriend and getting her pregnant that you're going to get along later because I'm 25. I have a little boy with my boyfriend. You are oh, really? Is he in jail? Well, I mean, but, uh, but, like, you're, like you're the same as me. So what? I'm just this calling you. Don't just make just a mistake that I did. This, this I love this my... You're fat ass. Uh, it doesn't make you me, all right? You're not my... You don't no. leave my ass. We're still together because I'm learning to bite my tongue and oh, be the girl you, that Tom you, says you, you, guys you, you, like, but you, should, woman. you will be okay. at each other's yeah. throats all the time. What do you have to do? Do you have to bat you around first? What? Like, you know anything. Who are you, anyway, to counsel me on anything? 
I'm just telling you what you're in for. From experience, you telling should listen to me and get for? out while you can. To get out while I can. Yeah. Right. Okay. But anyway, how old are you? Thanks for letting me on, Tom. This uh, guy's no problem. No problem, yeah, 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 Chelsea. Yeah, that's what I thought. Goodbye, woman. <sighs> Well, you're a big man on the telephone, Andy, but uh, you don't have the balls to face up to the uh, woman you knocked up and tell her the truth, do you? No, I tell her the truth. Oh, yeah, and you did? So when are you getting married? No, there's no roundabout, Bill Clinton. There is no roundabout. You're getting married or you're not. You proposed marriage, and marriage has a specific meaning. Yeah, but it, it has a different. You lied. Different yeah, but you, but you, but you made sure to misrepresent it, so she thinks you're going to sign the paperwork, which no, you're not. Okay. I did tell her that it was doubtful after I proposed. I told her. It was well, let's doubtful. call her and confirm. Because that will put a huge rash on my neck. Why? Okay. Why? Because then she get calling on her national. Of radio course, show. she's got to say. Of course, Andy. Really... T- Andy told you the truth. That's exactly what happened. I uh, prefer to just. Why would you worry thing? about it? Of course, she'll be thrilled to uh, to prove you right here. Oh yeah, she'll be thrilled. No, she'll why not? Like, oh, if you're oh, telling the truth, what do you do? you're a liar. She'll say, Andy, you're a liar. Why, you're, why a you liar. So you're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. Okay, you're a liar. I've got a lot of experience. Yes, I've got a lot of experience in this area, and you are a liar. Clarissa, what did you want to say to Andy? Oh, hey, Tom, I I agree with you 100%. He is a liar. Liar, liar, liar. Pants on fire, yes. Oh, my God. Listen, does she know that you... I know he's been asking this, but does she know that you don't want to get married? Do you tell all your friends that you don't really intend on marrying her so that to, to... to her, you act like you're in love with her, you want to get married and everything, the future is bright and happy. Get, Watch, I mean, your mouth, Watch your mouth, Robbie. I, I don't really intend on doing all this, so none of your friends respect her. You don't respect her, yet she's going to be the mother of your child. How do you know? I mean, how do you know anything? What, because you never get any respect? No, oh, because I, I know you. Woman. I know but, you. But, but, but does your man not respect you or something? Uh, you know what? You, I know I know that for for oh, a fact. Oh, you're telling her to her face. I bet you know, I bet everything you know is a lot fine about and dandy. This. Yeah, you're telling you all your friends the, that you never how expect many, how to go through with it. To how do you think there? that reflects on you I mean, or her? I respect her. Oh, do you? So you're telling all of us, you're telling the whole world except her that you don't intend to get married to her. How do you think that makes her feel when she finds out? When she finds out that the whole time you've been telling her your face to her face that you love her, you want to get married to her, but when you turn around, talk to your friends, you're shaking your head going, no way, never. How do you think she feel when she finds out about that? that? That's right, because I've, I've already told her. I don't know how many times i got to say that I have told her. That is doubtful. Uh, 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 save me. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Most important, it's daylight savings. The lights are on and no chick should be home. That's right. It's Flash Friday on the Tom Likey Show. The Tom Likey Show at 1 800 5800 Tom. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Uh, coming up this Sunday at Camacho's in the City of Industry, uh, the radio station 97.1 Free FM is going to be hosting a, a Raiders rally. Doesn't matter that the Raiders have left town. As anybody in SoCal knows, there are hundreds of thousands of Raider fans who are still loyal Raider fans. And many of them will be at Camacho's this Sunday. Along with me and Adam Carolla is going to be there. Danny Bonaducci is going to be there. Frosty, Heidi, and Frank are going to be there in the flesh. The Lycats. And they're going to be giving away tickets to a Raiders home game. 
And you'll have to get yourself to the Oakland Coliseum, but there are going to be tickets to a Raiders home game, and that's going to be coming up this Sunday. But, yes, we are all coming out on Sunday to the big Raiders rally. It's me, Adam Carolla, Danny Bonaducci, Frosty, Adi, and Frank. I'm told the entire staff of the radio station is going to be there. That's what I've been told. The ever, if you ever wanted to meet any member of the staff, we will all be there at the same time on Sunday. And a big showing of solidarity. We will all be there. So if you want, name a person on the air at the station. If there's somebody on, not one of the infomercials, I'm talking about one of the hosts. If you've ever wanted to meet one of the hosts from the radio station, we are all going to be there Sunday. All of us. All together at the same time. How often do you get to see all of us in one place at the same time? It just doesn't happen. We're all going to be there. It's this Sunday. Starts at 1 o'clock at Camacho's City of Industry. You take the 60 freeway to the Crossroads Parkway exit. And when you get off, they're going to have big screen TVs with the game in HD, which is running on Channel 2, but you're going to see it in HD on the big screen. And more importantly, you will get to see all of us at the same time. It's unprecedented. We have never, ever done an event where everybody from the radio station is there in one place at the same time. It's just never happened before. This will not be broadcast on the air, so who knows what will happen. But seriously, think of a name, any name, anybody on the air. If there's anybody on 97.1 that you have ever wanted to meet, they are all going to be there. That The station has guaranteed everybody's presence, and I'm very excited. I'll be there at 1 o'clock, and so will you. Sunday at Camacho's, Raiders and the Chargers. Yeah, we're going to be there. Yep. Amazing. I can't wait to see everybody together myself. It's going to be great. So, really, when you get there, just ask for the person of your choice, the person from the radio station you've always wanted to meet. They will all be there. It's really, really going to be a great event. Sunday. Very exciting. Anyway, uh, all right, 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Dimitri. Dimitri is calling from the Mount Olympus area. This is up in Laurel Canyon. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Dimitri. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, first time, long time. Yes. Uh, ever since the Culver City days, you know, many, many years. So get this, driving home on the way uh, crossing Laurel Canyon, just past the Mount Olympus sign, standing on the red light. And uh, what do you know? My headlights are on, start flickering them, got the xenons. Bam, uh, 97, I'm thinking, uh, white Honda Civic, nice bleach blonde babe, rack, I don't know, 34C, perfect. It looks like they were just done. So you know what? I'll be honest with you. And she was just sitting there in her car in the traffic in Laurel Canyon heading north? Yep. yep. Heading for she the was, valley? She was, heading, she was heading south. I was heading north on the, on the light. We're uh, uh, opposite of each other. Wow. Look at the lights, and I got it. I love that. I'll be honest with you. I've been listening for many, many years and never happened. First one, you know, I'm excited. <laughs> that is fantastic. Another thing I wanted to tell you, actually, I um, uh, met this chick, uh, I don't know, half a year ago, started dating her, uh, totally, you know, off the J, let her, did her, let her do her thing. The second she started getting clingy, let her go. But before that, get this, take her to the best restaurant. Your advice, of course. Thank you very much. Lala's in Studio City. Best $40 date I've ever had. There we go. She thought, she thought it was amazing. I thought it was cheap. Worked out wonderfully. Did what I had to do and uh, sent her on her way. Yeah, there's a Lala's on uh, Melrose also. There is. But you know what? The, the one in Studio City, I know the owner, Mario, so... You know, I get my free dessert. I get in without a line. And I'm guessing, par I'm guessing parking is better in Studio City, too. It is. It is. Because there's a valet and, uh, you know, there's always stuff. There's always a place to park there. If not, there's a McDonald's across the street. It always works out well. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, you know, thanks for taking my call. I appreciate it. Dimitri. You're doing what you're doing. You're uh, making my life very easy. I'm here to help, Dimitri. Checking in from Mount Olympus. You got Flash right there on Laurel Canyon. Wow. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here comes Mark on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 
Hello, Tom. Hello, Mark. Hey, when are you going to go ahead and come on back to Dallas, man? You need to have a little intervention with your buddy, Russ Martin. Now, you know, we were just talking about that. I think we're going to be in for the big NASCAR weekend in a few weeks. Jesus Christ. It, 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 even if you just have to come in just to sit down and talk to the men, because today what I heard was atrocious. What happened yeah. today? Uh, he was doing something where he was recording his fiance or girlfriend or, or, or dream killer, as I call her, where she was just talking about how his house looks like crap. She's tired of picking up after him. His motor court looks like a junkyard. Mind you, she's talking about his home, not her home. Not their home, his home. And before, and I, let me let me let me ask this question. Now, let me guess. Before they got engaged, she thought his house was spectacular. By the way, Gary and I have been to Russ's house. I, I, I know where Russ lives. I have a lot of friends that live in that. But Russ, area Russ lives. I, I'm not exaggerating. Russ lives in a ten thousand square foot home in Los Angeles. This would qualify as a mansion. Oh, this yeah. place yeah, is Texas, huge. And the guy's got two Batmobiles parked in the garage. I mean, that, but his house is tricked out. It's spectacular. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. Like I said, I have friends that live in there, but that's besides the point. Uh, she was just they, uh, bitching him out up and down. Oh, I mean, boy, of course, there, no was a punch, there was a punchline after it, you know, of course. But before that... Hey, it was it was disgusting. Well, I mean, well, it, well Gary, it, I think Gary and I are going to be coming to town for NASCAR in a couple of weeks, and when we do, uh, I am going to uh, set up time for a sit down with Russ. We're going to have a beer. We're going to talk about this. Please talk. T please, I uh, will advise him. To I promise. TV. I Jesus I, Christ, she's a dream killer. Before he was talking about opening up a bar, I believe for two years hasn't happened yet. They've been dating for two years. She hasn't tried to talk about he's uh, quitting the show or anything yet, has she? Uh, no, no, uh, no, of course not. That's her gravy boat right there. Why would she talk him into quitting the show? That's, that's her well, So he can spend more time with her. Oh, uh, no, no, no. See, no, I, so I've gotten that speech. By the way, I've gotten that speech myself. No, she, no, it's, no. The more time that he spends with her, the more time that she spends away from his Corvette that she drives. Oh, boy. Yes. Yeah, so oh, like boy. I said, please, Tom, please bring, bring Russ back to the fold. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm. Gary and I are going to come to town, and we're good. That's going to be part of our schedule. We're going to have that in the agenda. Thank you very much. All right, Mark. Thank you. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I can't get nothing done because your show's on the air. That's the way we want to keep it, Chuck. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom like his show at one 800 800 tom Wide open telephones on the Tom like his show. Paula, hello. Hey. Hey. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, how you doing? Fantastic. Um, I had a question. You had a guy on um, yesterday. He owed like a 1000 on his uh, debt, right? Credit cards, yes. Oh, yeah, and it's credit card debt. Now, I owe probably about 1500 on my credit debt, but I just signed up with Washington Mutual for um, a consolidated credit card. Now, I'm wondering if that's a good thing to get into. I'm trying to get my FICO score up so I can buy a house in the next couple of years. The best thing to get into is to get into paying all your debt off and not be having money on credit cards. Yeah, I can pay it off. I just did about 1300 last month, and I'm probably, I could probably pay it off. But is the consolidated credit card the best thing to do? Or? What, is, what is a consolidated credit card? Well, a consolidated credit card, from my understanding, when I went into Washington Mutual, is that they give you checks to um, pay off your debt. Now, I can pay it off, but I heard that it was better for your financial. But you haven't paid off your debt. They, they call it paying off your debt, but all you've done is transferred your debt from yeah. one debtor to another. Okay. Now, is that going to be... Well, better or worse for me? I don't. I'm not quite sure on that. Are you paying lower interest on the debt now than you were paying when it was elsewhere? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. You're not sure. I'm not quite sure. Well, if you don't know the answer to that, you shouldn't be doing it. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm just. I, was I mean, that's curious. that's the only reason I could foresee you doing something like that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. 
Right. Um, yeah, uh, I, I guess I agree with that. But I was just wondering. I'm trying to do, like, the best thing to get my FICO score up. The best thing to get I your FICO score up is to pay your debt off. Okay, so just pay Why do you need enough? to have $1,500 in debt? I don't understand. Okay, you're right. <laughs> That's now, why I'm getting another job right now to pay it off. I'm going to ask you a question. I'll bet you don't know the answer. Okay. What's the interest rate you're paying on that debt? I think it's at uh, 22%. Only 22%. So do you know how much you're paying per year on that? I would imagine it would be a couple hundred dollars. Well, well, imagine away, dear, because 22% of 1500 listen carefully, okay? Mm -hmm. All right? 22% of 1000 is $220. Okay. So if it were simple interest, as they call it, it would be $330 a year, but you're paying much more than that because the interest is compounded mm -hmm. at the very least monthly. Okay. You are probably paying well over $400 a year. Okay. And by the way, why is the interest rate so high? Is your credit that bad? Um, it was when I started off having the So credit. that means you have a history of not paying your bills. Well, before before this, I only had one credit card. So you had a history of not paying it on time. Yeah, I do pay it on time. Mm -hmm. Well, how did you? How did? Why do you have a twenty two percent interest before, rate? Before I wasn't. This was about a year ago. That's why. Dear, why do you have it? The I'm only people it. who get a twenty two percent interest rate are one, stupid people, or two, people who have a history of not paying their debts on time. Which are you? Uh, I'm neither. <laughs> no, that's not true. Okay, well... I you know how much I pay on my MasterCard? Hmm. 11%. Half of what you pay. Okay. Well, I have the I have the MasterCard through Costco where you get the 2% back at the end of the year. It has nothing to do with this. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so... My, my the credit card, the, the one that charges interest, charges 11%. Okay. Why are you paying 22%? Um, I guess just from my past. I mean, I'm paying it all on time. I don't do the minimum. Which dear, like dear, you're, you're paying 22% because you agreed to it. Why did you agree to pay 22%? Uh, well, I was just, I didn't have any credit cards. I only had, I think, one or two other credit cards before, and I maxed those out when I was Let's see, I'm 27 now, so I was 18, and I never paid them off, and they went to, you know, credit. You just told me you don't have a history of not paying, but you, you do not have a history now, of not, not paying. Not now. That was when I was younger. Dear, history, that's what history is. History is all the time up until now. Yeah, okay. You have a history of not paying. You're a deadbeat. Okay, well, I can pay it off in the next month. But I guess I shouldn't have signed up for that Washington Mutual consolidated credit card. Then. Why would you do that? Well, because it has 0% APR till 2009. So you're paying no interest. You just said you're paying 22% interest. Well, on my other credit cards now, I have oh. uh, Capital One. I have Orchard Bank credit card. Um, I have a secured Wells Fargo. Why credit do you have so many credit cards? Well, I'm trying to get my FICO score up so I can buy a house in the next two years. Before, let's see, uh, about a year ago, I had it at, it was at five, and now it's at about 660 now. But, but the point is, why did you put all the debt on the most expensive credit card you have? You're right. Well, I guess I'll just have to pay it off and then um, cancel my credit cards. I mean, if you needed a secure card, that's a clue that you're a deadbeat. Okay. Well, I'm not anymore, so I'm not really darling, worried about Darling, that. you're a deadbeat on, until they say you're not. If you're being charged 22% interest, it's because you're a deadbeat in their eyes. Okay. You understand? Yeah, I understand. I mean, I don't understand why you have to have any debt at all. Okay, so I guess I'll just... I mean, did you have a brain tumor? No, Were I Were you don't. hit by a bus? No. All right, so there's no reason to have debt like that, is there? Well, I don't think it's that much debt. Yeah, it I, is. I if you're paying, it's... if you're paying four hundred dollars a year to service a debt, that's a lot of a debt that's fifteen hundred dollars. That's a lot. 
That's a lot. Stop being a deadbeat. Pay your bill. It's the Tom Likas Show.